In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to quickly make a website in just 10 minutes. After watching this video, you'll be able to make any kind of website just using drag and drop without any coding. So let's get started. We're gonna do this in just four easy steps. The first step is to get hosting and a domain for your website. Hosting is the place where your website files will be stored and the domain is simply the name of your website. To start, go to the description of this video and click on the first link there. This link will take you to Hostinger, which is the hosting provider that we'll use for our new website. Here you want to go to Hosting and then click on Web Hosting. Then scroll down until you see the web hosting plans. I recommend to go with the premium web hosting plan, which has everything you need, plus you also get a free domain. So let's click on Add to Cart. Then here we can choose our billing cycle. The more you pay upfront, the cheaper the plan becomes per month. I'm gonna leave this at 48 months, but of course you can also choose one of the other options. Then scroll down and type in your email address here. And then select your payment method. To get an additional 10% off the total amount, make sure to click on have a coupon code and then type in Medix Media for the code. Then enter your payment info and click on Submit Secure Payment. Once the payment is completed, you can create the password for your hosting or account. And click on Confirm. Then we want to go straight to the dashboard, so let's click on the Hostinger logo at the top of the page. This takes us into our Hostinger dashboard, where we can now claim our free domain, which is included in the hosting plan. So click on Claim Domain. Then choose the domain extension. I recommend to go with a .com. Then type in the name of your website and checked availability. Once you find the name that is still available, click on Claim Domain. Then to complete the registration of your new domain, you need to fill in your personal or company information. When that's done, click on Finish Registration. And then click Continue. Now go to your email inbox and look for an email asking you to verify your contact information for your new domain. Then click on the validation link. And now our email is verified. So that's it for step one, which was getting our hosting and our domain. Let's move on to step two, which is installing WordPress. WordPress is the most popular way to create websites. In fact, over 40% of all websites are made using WordPress. So to install WordPress, let's go to the hosting or dashboard and click on hosting. And here where it says premium web hosting, let's click on setup. Then click on start now and then click on skip. I don't want personalized experience. We want to create a new website, so let's click on Select here. And then we're going to choose WordPress. Here, choose a password for your WordPress account. And click on Continue. Then here, we don't want to choose a website template just yet, so click on Skip. Here, we're going to choose the domain that we already have, so let's click on Select and then click Finish Setup. Here, click on Edit Website. And this should take you to the WordPress dashboard. If it doesn't, then simply come up here, type in your domain forward slash WP hyphen admin, hit Enter, and that will take you to your WordPress dashboard. This is the place where you'll be able to control your website. And when we click on our domain on the top left, we can see how our website currently looks like. 
Now we're gonna move on to step three, which is installing a new theme. The theme we're gonna install is called Astra, which is one of the most popular themes. So let's click on the WordPress icon on the top left to get back to our dashboard. And then go to Appearance and click on Themes. Here, click on Add New. And then search for Astra. Click on Install. And then Activate. Now we also want to install a plugin that will make creating our website a lot easier. So go to Plugins and click on Add New. Then search for Starter Templates. And install this plugin. The plugin we've just installed allows us to use pre-made website designs that we can then customize however we want. So let's scroll down to this plugin and click on See Library. Click on Build Your Website Now. And for the page builder, we're going to choose Elementor. This takes us to all the available templates you can choose from. I'm going to create a business website, so I'm going to search for Business. And then I'm going to choose this template. Now we can see how the design of our new website looks like. So to install this template, let's click on Skip and Continue. And here we can already change the colors and fonts of our new site. And then click on Continue. Then click Submit and Build My Website. So now our website is being built. Once it's done, we can click on View Your Website. So this is how our site currently looks like with some placeholder content. We can also navigate to other pages of the website and see how those are set up. Great, now let's move on to the fourth and final step, which is editing the content. Let's start by editing the home page. We first navigate to the home page and then click on Edit with Elementor. Now let's say we want to edit this text. Just click on it and then change the text to whatever you want. To change the text on the button, we also just click on it and then change the text over here. And that's how you can change any text across your entire website. If you want to change an image on your page, just click on it then click on Choose Image and drag and drop your image here. And click on Insert Media. To save the changes we just made, just click on Update on the bottom left. To preview the website, just click on the preview icon here. And this will show you how your website looks. So now you know exactly how to edit the content of your website. Next, we're going to look at how to also edit the header and the footer of your website. So to edit these sections, let's come over here and click on Customize. Now for each element that you can change, you now have these pen icons. So for example, if you want to change the logo, just click on the pen icon next to it. And then you can change the logo here and it works exactly the same on the website footer. Just click on the pen icon and then change the text here. To save the changes, we just click on Publish and then close this. Next, let's look at how to add a new page to the website. We just come over here to New and then click on Page. Here, give the page a name and then click on Edit with Elementor. This will open up a new blank page. Now we can build our new page by dragging and dropping in elements from the left side and then customizing them however we want to.
or we can also just use a pre-made template for the new page. So when we click on this icon, we'll see some templates that we can use. We can click on them and see how it looks. And if you like it, just click on insert and then click apply. And now we can edit each part of the page the same way as before. So let's click on publish and then preview the site. Now to add this new page to the navigation menu, let's click on customize and then click on menus. Primary menu and then here you can make changes to your top navigation menu. So let's click on add items and add our new page here. Then let's click on publish. And now the navigation menu is updated. So that was how to quickly and easily make a website. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this one.